Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and uh, before we get into the video, I would like to remind you guys that I did release my edit pack a couple days ago. Uh, link is in the description, uh, as well as the, uh, the quote-unquote promo video for the pack. Uh, so if that is something that you're interested in, please do go ahead and buy it. Uh, it would mean a lot. Uh, only $7, and yeah, link is in the description. Hey, what's wrong guys, Digno here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the transition that you've just seen on screen. Uh, it's a very, very smooth transition, and, uh, you know, I figured that a couple of you might not know how to make it, so I'm going to show you uh, in today's video. Uh, so, uh, just to start off, I have imported just a clip and then a, uh, a snipe clip to just sort of transition from this clip to that one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like, trim this part so that I only have the part to transition from. I'm going to drag that up. And uh, ideally, what you're gonna want to do is just uh, have this clip start where the uh, the scope is fully like out, which would be like on this frame. So make sure to trim it like that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just mute the audio so you guys don't get ear raped. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, a new video track. And I'm gonna drag uh, this clip up there, and I'm gonna overlap these by about 30 seconds, ideally. Uh, if you have to do more or less than that, it's fine. I'm gonna do 45 because you know. The more you actually can have, the smoother it'll be. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new video track. I'm gonna press U on the snipe clip. I'm gonna hold Control and I'm gonna drag it up. So just make sure that your setup looks something like this. Uh, now, what I'm gonna start off by doing is going to this bottom uh, video track. I'm gonna go and click on the cropping tool. I'm gonna enable masking. I'm gonna click on the first keyframe. And I'm gonna make a sphere around the middle right here. Just sort of mask the uh, the interior of the uh, of the scope. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that up, drag that down, and I'm gonna click on the uh, the minus tool right down here. I'm also gonna go ahead and temporarily remove the uh, the top track so we can see what the fuck we're doing. And now what we're gonna want to do is just go ahead and go back in here, click on the position. And we're going to go ahead and zoom it in just far enough so that you actually can see the scope in the other clip. And now we're going to go to the uh, the last frame, which is going to be right here. I'm going to click on right, right click, click on restore, and go on this first uh, keyframe, uh, right click and click on fast. So once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and pre-render it. Uh, you'll see that it actually, it's quite smooth. Uh, and we, it obviously does disappear. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this top track to actually uh, to to make the interior of the scope, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it again. Uh, that's a, my bad, and just go ahead and uh, go to the the masking keyframe, and instead of clicking on the minus, click on the positive, so that we actually get the interior. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the position completely, uh, or remove the first keyframe anyway. We don't really want that there. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go roughly halfway through. Go ahead and split the top track. And just go ahead and fade it in, just like that, and make sure that the fade in has ended before uh, this bottom track ends, because we, we will stop receiving, uh, you know, video from that. It'll go black for a second, and it won't look too great. So it should look something like this, you know. Um, yeah, roughly like that. If you want to be like a bit fancy, you can go ahead and rotate it a bit. So just go ahead and do something like that, and then go like here and right click and click on restore. So if you do that, it will look sort of decent. Uh, but now which, what we're going to want to do ideally is to go, we're going to extend this by one frame uh, if you can. I mean, we don't have to. And just go ahead and make sure that the actual mask isn't really like applying all the way through. So just go ahead and make a keyframe on the, uh, the frame where the bottom track ends, make one one frame forward. And on the, uh, the last keyframe, uh, just go ahead and remove the mask completely. And now we're going to want to split the bottom track. And it'll look something like this. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.